Hello, my lovely Sagittarius. How you guys are doing? I hope everybody's well. Sagittarius, today we'll do your reading for the dailies for the 3rd and 4th of September. As you know, this daily is a general read. And just to know, may I resonate with you, may not. I will try to pick the most important message for you and just deliver it. If you see something more, please take it. And this reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising Science and Venus Science. Let's see here, Sagis, what we got for you and how we're moving forward. Let's see, what's your overall energy and how we're moving with that. Eight of Swords. Oof. Sagi, what happened here? I feel here you... You might think of somebody from your past and I don't feel you moved on. Could be... You, you probably don't see how you could let go this person. But I feel here you can overcome whatever it was. Yes, it was harsh. Yes, you feel it's so heavy. For some of you, you might deal with the karmic. And that karmic energy is still, still out there. Spirit says, make peace with what you have. And just tell to yourself everything will be fine to move forward. Yeah. But I feel here you will, because King of Wands, that's you. You take actions towards that. We have Moon. I feel here you you kind of afraid to move forward. We have Pisces, Strength, and Hierophant. I feel here you, at the extent you will overcome this. You have all major arcanas here, if you if you see that. Yeah, let's see here what we got here. Somebody hopes to come back and talk to you. Most likely to make peace with you. And I feel here this person does love you as you do love them. Could be a water sign, could be a Virgo, could be a Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have here a water sign too. You could deal with the fellow fire. We have Sag, Leo, Aries. We have Hierophant, Taurus. And we have King of Cups, the Hermit, and Four of Swords. This person, this person who's coming towards you, they choose to be with you because they love you already. I feel here is somebody you deal with already. They they are doing their work, they are healing because they they could gone through a lot they are coming towards you a little conflicted here but they wanna be with you they wanna commit with you they wanna put work into this connection and I feel here Sag you also love this person but you might feel like is this the right choice for me is the one I do choose or is them choosing me? For some of you, you are afraid that somebody is still in a marriage. Or for some of you, you are afraid if you commit, because this person eats about commitment. And they are very, very sharp that what they want, they want. It's kind of like, I want commitment. You are the one I want. And you kind of like, I'm not sure. Is this the right person I want to commit? Or it is not? For some of you, you might feel like in the past, with this person, this relationship was a failure. Because I see arguments. I see some secrets. Somebody could argue. And you, you, you just don't want that. You might have right now peace in your life and just like, you know, balanced more. 
but this person also they want balance they are they are still working whatever they are you might not really talk with this person or very minimal but they are coming here could be a week and Leo season could came or within a week within a month most likely you will see this person this person is very quiet right now they may watching you for from afar I see Pisces Pisces Can Cancer Scorpio Aries Leo or Sag also Taurus and Virgo and Aquarius and of course we have the lovers which is the Gemini very much in such a small reading how many major arcanas three four five six seven major arcana in such a very small reading so this is a very very strong connection very soul level connection for some of you you are ready to commit with with this person you just don't see if this because it sort of shows me you didn't move from this connection and you don't see yourself probably with anybody else right now okay why this moon here the high priestess I I shuffle them in reverse for some of you is is telling you like whatever you are afraid that's mostly inside you and follow your intuition if you feel that you need more time more healing because I definitely feel here you you've done a lot of work and you are stable could be stable in your financial situation could be stable you spiritually mental because this person they have more work you are way ahead of this person also I feel here you need more information from this person more to know deep inside you feel you sense it but anyway you need more information this person is coming conflicted towards you why this five of wands five of swords they might they 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 want to reconcile with you but it's something I I definitely feel here was a ego based conflict somebody absolutely didn't agree with the other one could be a tower moment in the past but this person really waits for some communication why this communication will be about because this person wants something from you Sagis why this ace of swords the Emperor this person might might be committed in the past they might even tell you but right now they they want to speak about commitment they want to commit with you they feel you are the one for them if this person was in the past committed with somebody else I don't feel them I don't feel them committed I I don't see a third party here I just see two and one okay I feel here this person is coming with an offer of love but they are they might be very afraid do you want them or not why this eight of swords for some of you you might not see this person coming or you don't believe you don't believe that they are coming but they want something stable with you they coming for commitment and union with you they want a fresh start with you and absolutely they might travel towards you there might be distance between you two but a little rocky communication will happen at start but later on I feel here will work it out for some of you you could get move in with this person in a very short time it's 
It's something like was waiting, waiting, waiting long time, would be even two, three years, most likely two years. And all of a sudden this person is showing up and actually could propose or move in with you. They want you to be the one who who is for them and you for them. You they for for you. Because this person is a father figure, a mother figure. They they want commitment. They that type of person they believe in commitment. Cancerian energy here. Yes, they see you are the one for them. And they want they want to take a leap of faith here with you. It's kind of like give me a second chance and I'll make it the way supposed to. This person is willing to work in this connection. They for some of you they might ask give me a second chance and and from now on you will see how that that will work. And they might even tell you I never told you I love you, but I do. Because right now they are very quiet and thinking, will you get the offer? Will you accept the offer? So yeah, Sag, are you or not? So loves, this is what I got for this day. For some of you, somebody is offing like, oof, I didn't expect for you actually to come back. And believe it or not, when I say if somebody's coming back, they are coming back. Sooner or later, they always do. Yes, they come in a very short time. If they've been a player in the past, now they are not. Now they are serious about that. So, Sag, this concludes your reading for today. And, of course, we'll see you tomorrow, loves. Bye for now.